so we find ourselves today in Petco and we got this lovely music playing but today we're actually going to be breaking down wet foods yep wet foods so we're going to start out with this one right here in front of me it's called uh, Blue Buffalo's Wilderness uh, Holiday Holistic Denali Dinner with Salmon Venison and Halibut Alright, goes for $4.19. Let's see what those ingredients tell us and let's see how we can score it. Let's go over the scale in this video. Uh, we're going to be covering fiber, moisture, fat, and protein. They're going to be getting a grade for that. 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. Same with the 5 ingredients and also with the dings, except with the dings you get a negative score. Also, we're going to do it by price per ounce and then a total final score. Blue Wilderness over here. We got a chicken, chicken broth, fish broth, chicken liver, turkey, salmon, venison, halibut, uh, pea flour, potato protein. I ain't gonna lie, first five ingredients are not the worst. We have 10% uh, crude protein, 5% crude fat, 1.5% crude fiber, and 78% moisture. Uh, I don't see soy, wheat, or corn anywhere on there, so that's definitely a plus. Also, I don't see that the one preservative called uh, carrageenan that can actually uh, do all sorts of crazy things to your dog. So, all in all, I'm gonna go ahead and grade this can on the initial five uh, ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and grade it a seven out of 10. Next up, we got Merrick Chunky Big Texas Steak Tips Dinner with big chunks of beef and gravy, grain free, $4.49. Let's take a look at the ingredients and see how this can stacks up. Let's look at the ingredients. We got deboned beef, beef broth, vegetable broth, beef liver, dried egg product, not good, potato starch. Uh, let's see. Crude protein 8%, crude fat 3%, which is, I don't understand why the fat is so low. Crude fiber 1.4, 82% moisture. So initially, I'm going to go ahead and grade this can uh, 6 out of 10, uh, just overall, uh, for the first five ingredients. Now let's see what the overall grade is. Alright, for those of you that own smaller dogs, I'm seeing here little plates, so you know what? Let's go with this uh, Dainty Duck Medley. Crude protein is 8%, crude fat 3.5%, crude fiber 1.4% with 82% moisture. Alright fam, we're looking at the ingredient list and I see deboned duck, and it should be the first ingredient. I'm glad to see it there. I see duck broth, chicken broth, chicken liver, deboned chicken. Dried egg whites. All right, you see the difference between uh, dried egg product and dried egg whites is that this is actually telling you it's egg whites. The other one tells you nothing. It all it says is coming from the egg. It could be either the yolk, the egg, or the shell. Here it's specifying as the egg white. So that's definitely, definitely what I like to see. Right now, I'm looking for soy, corn, or wheat, and I don't see it. I'm looking for carrageenan used by a lot of these uh, wet food manufacturers, and I don't see it on there. So all in all, I'm gonna go ahead and grade this can, or actually this little plate, if you will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grade it a six out of 10, and let's see what the overall grade is with the price, 249. And what you're getting for the 249 is three and a half ounces. Let's check it out. Hey guys, as I'm walking and strutting to this amazing music, I'm coming up on Taste of the Wild Pacific Stream. All right, and price on this is 279, and uh, it brings 13.2 ounces. Yeah, 13.2 ounces. All right, let's turn this can over. Let's turn the can over and let's see what it has to say. So right off the bat, you have white fish. Doesn't say what kind of fish, just white fish. Uh, fish broth, turkey broth, water sufficient for processing. 
turkey, turkey liver, dried egg whites, salmon, dry ground peas. All in all, that's, that's not the worst product list I've seen up to now. Uh, crude protein, 7.5%, crude fat, 3.5%, fiber, 1%, 82% moisture. Crude fat, I could understand it being lower since fish is supposed to be the main ingredient. I'm also looking for the carrageenan, which I don't see it. I do see taurine right there, though, so that's definitely a plus. So, all in all, I'm going to go ahead and grade this also a 6 out of 10. Um, now, let's see what's the overall grade once we, once we add the price and we add everything to it. All right, so this is for all you Royal Canine fans. All right, we're over here on the Royal Canine section. And uh, I'm looking at Royal Canine Adult Advanced Nutrition for Adult Dogs. Um, notice it's not saying anywhere if it's beef, chicken, or anything like that. So let's turn over the can. Let's see what it's got to say. Water sufficient for processing. That's your first ingredient. It's not good. We got chicken, pork liver, chicken byproducts. Not good whatsoever. And then in addition to that, let me turn this. We have cornmeal, brewer's rice, which is not even real rice. It's just like the shell of the rice. <laughs> so um, ingredient wise, not the best. Let's see nutritionally. All right, so check it out. Crude protein, 6.5%. Crude fat, 3%. Crude fiber, 2%. Moisture, 77.5%. The mere fact that we're starting out with water sufficient for processing, not good. But the fact that they do specify the meat source and say chicken, pork liver, that started improving things. Where it goes downhill is in the chicken byproduct. You don't know if it's the beak, if it's the feather, if it's the nail. What is it? And so... I am truly sorry for a Royal Canine, but I'm going to give this can a, a, a 4 out of 10, and we'll see what the final uh, grade is with a 409 price per can. All right, so we're in the wellness aisle, and uh, I'm not going to lie, this particular can kind of caught my attention. It says wellness mixer or topper, 95% turkey, exclusive of water. So far, this is the only can that is saying it's 95% of something. You know, I don't see any other can saying that. That definitely captured my attention. And they go for 419. Let's turn over the can. Let's see what, what it has back there. Looking at the guaranteed analysis, we're looking at crude protein, 9%, crude fat, 9%, crude fiber, 1%, moisture, 78%. All right. Now look at the ingredient list. All right, look at the ingredient list because there's two things in that ingredient list we haven't seen yet. First of all, is a limited amount of ingredients. It starts out with turkey, which that first ingredient that it's mentioning in the front of the can has to be 25 minimum 25% of what's in there. So it says turkey, then water sufficient for processing, then natural flavor, then cassia gum which is a filler and then it has the carrageenan which is that preservative i told you about that does all sorts of crazy things for your dog so it started out doing pretty well with turkey but then it just kind of went downhill for me um which makes it difficult for me to actually grade this can because it's not lying to you it's telling you there's turkey in there and, and you look at the ingredient list and that's what it is but because of the ding and everything else i see i can only give this no more than a six out of ten all right we'll see what the final grade is with the price all right fam we're in the wholehearted section we're looking at cans of grain-free dog food wet dog food that is price is $2.59. Let's turn over the can. Let's see what's there. All right. So look at the ingredients. We start out with beef, then beef broth, then lamb broth, then beef liver, carrots, lamb, dried egg whites, green beans, dried egg product, potato starch. Okay. So first five products are, 
I want to say not the worst. They're, they're hanging in there. Um, crude protein, 8%. Fat, 4.5%. Crude fiber, 1%. 82% moisture. Uh, let me see if I see... Well, it says grain-free, so we shouldn't see any type of grains in there. I'm just looking for car carrageenan at this point. Which, at this point, I don't see it right off the bat. So, all in all... I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, beef, beef broth, lamb broth, beef liver, carrots, and then lamb, back to lamb. Ah, they're making it hard for me. It's between a six and a seven, so I'm going to go ahead and just give them a six and a half. And then with the price, we'll go ahead and run it through and, and see what score they get. All right, for you origin lovers, origin lovers, let's see what they do in the can. Is it as good as what we see in their kibble? So right now I'm seeing puppy. I'm gonna go actually with the original stew with shredded chicken, turkey, and eggs. All right, let's go ahead and turn over the can. Uh, actually, let me check the price out first. It's $5 a pop, so it's $4.99. Let's turn over the can, let's see what's in there. First ingredient, chicken. Next ingredient, chicken bone broth. Then turkey bone broth, then chicken liver, then turkey, then dried egg whites, uh, dried egg white products. All right. All right, chicken heart. You see, you notice how, how it says chicken and chicken bone broth and turkey bone broth, and it's specifying its, it's exact source. That's exactly what you want to see. What you don't want to see is for it to say somewhere on there, meat or... Uh, chicken byproduct you're really not getting meat with a chicken byproduct and if it just says meat or meat meal it means that it could come from any source and you don't know where it's coming from again I'm not terribly surprised by this brand or they make excellent uh, or not excellent but they make the best kibble that, I, that I've been able to find uh, right now I'm looking to see if there are any soy, wheat, or corn, which I don't see it. And then I'm also looking for carrageenan, which I don't see. Now check it out. Look at crude protein, 11%. Look at crude fat, 4%. Crude fiber, 1.5%. Moisture, 82.1%. Okay, all right, but just notice the crude protein shot up. That's really important. So we're gonna go ahead and check out its its price and give you a final grade for origin original stew with shredded chicken turkey and eggs guys you really got to dig the music here man really good stuff all right guys so we got a canna a canna a lot of you refer to a canna as a poor man's origin uh, because it's slightly cheaper uh, so you say and when you look at price over here in the origin product or the origin canned food is $4.99 A can is $3.49. All right, but I just realized $3.49 that's for the puppy formulas However for the adult formulas $3.99, so it's just a dollar less uh, You have here a can of premium chunks poultry recipe in bone broth. All right, let's turn over the can Let's see what it has to say. All right first ingredient on the list is chicken Chicken bone broth, turkey bone broth, chicken liver, sweet potatoes, cranberries, carrots, spinach, turkey, dried egg product, dried. You know what, guys? For those of you that are saying that a canna is a poor man's origin, guys, I can see where, where you're saying that. It almost seems like the sequence and also the, the type of products that are in there are very, very similar. Uh, I don't see corrigenin in here. Uh, I also don't see corn, soy, or wheat. So let's see where this can grades along with the price. Honestly, it looks very similar uh, to Origin, I must say. So let's see what we get. Oh, you know the aisle we're in now. This is the vet's favorite aisle. And that's because we have Hill Signs Diet. Pretty sure many of you have been able to see this brand on your vet's uh, shelves. All right, 
they have kibble and they have wet food. Um, this particular can claims chicken and barley entree. All right, so let's see how much science is behind this can. All right, guys, so we're looking at the first ingredient is water. Here we go. We're going down that slippery slope again. Then we have chicken, pork liver, whole grain corn, cracked pearl barley, beef byproducts. There you go, soybean meal. Man, um, guys, don't don't be fooled by the names and the marketing. Hill Science Diet and seeing it on your vet shelf it makes you think like it's the real deal, but. This stuff is nothing more than a can of flour. All right, I noticed that everything that has to do with nutrition is pretty small. It says here crude protein 5.2%, crude fat 3%, crude fiber 1.5%, moisture 78%. Um, letting, you got, letting you know uh, this canned food, it, uh, I'm giving it no more than, than a three. Um, I'll go ahead and evaluate it with the price and give you a final score. And while I'm listening to this wonderful music, I see this particular brand out here. It's called Tiki Dog Taste of Asia. They also have Taste of France, Taste of Greece, Taste of Spain. Wow, they got all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you noticed the marketing is more geared towards you, the human that's gonna be buying this, than actually your dog in my opinion. Either way, let's see, it says healthy grains. All right, so it's already letting you know there's grains in there. Chicken and snow pea stir fry recipe in broth. Ha, huh. so notice it's not saying it's chicken or duck or anything like that by itself. It's, it's basically including it on the word recipe, which means you're gonna get very little of it, if any, and it goes for 419. Either way, let's take a look at the back. All right, so I'm gonna show you this first. Crude protein, 8%, crude fat, 3%, crude fiber, 2%, moisture, 82%. Up to now, pretty, pretty common. But look at the first ingredient, chicken broth, followed by chicken brown rice, followed by carrots, no peas, sunflower seed oil, red bell pepper, calcium lactate, the calcium phosphate, uh, xanthan gum, which is a filler. Uh, I'm looking for carrageenan. They don't have it in there. I don't see. They do have grain. Obviously, there's rice there. This is more of a topper. I mean, I don't know if you want to pay $4.19 for a topper because. All right, all right, all right. So we're coming up on Instinct Original. It goes for $3.99. Let's see what it says. It says grain free. Okay, that's the puppy. So let's go for adult. I gotta do adult because I'm doing all adults, right? So original grain free. Uh, the raw brand instinct. Uh, I don't see where. Oh, here it says. It says real chicken recipe. 90 95% chicken, turkey, and chicken liver. All right. So when you see a can make a claim like that, um, verify it with the ingredients in the back like we're about to do and if they're there then you already know you're cooking so first things first all right so let's check out the guaranteed analysis 9.5 percent protein look at the crude fat went up to 8.5 percent crude fiber three percent 78 percent moisture when you see the crude fat come up i have a feeling that the main ingredients are actually going to be what is said in the front check it out yeah i was right you got chicken, turkey, chicken broth, chicken liver, ground flaxseed, uh, Montmorillon, I can't even pronounce it, uh, egg product peas. Okay, so it goes downhill afterwards. I'm looking for the carrageenan, uh, in which I don't see it, and I don't see grains. So in the first five products, what I am seeing is actually pretty decent uh, at a $3.99 price. Um, and you're actually getting a total of 13.2 ounces. All right, all right, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and say, I'm gonna go ahead and give this particular brand a seven out of 10, just out of the first five ingredients. Let's see how, uh, once we run the price and we run everything else through, how this actual, how this actual brand actually scores.
And then right next to it, we got Halo Elevate. We got Bone In Stew, Homestyle Bone In Stew, Barbecue Stew. We got Barbecue Stew. Okay, I'm sorry. This is duck and beef. This one is uh, glazed chicken. This one is chicken stew, and that one is chicken stew. So let's go with the uh, the first one I checked out, the uh, braised duck and beef stew, uh, Halo Elevate. Um, let's. This one is 12.7 ounces. So you're actually getting a little bit of a different amount than all the other cans. So you already know you're getting half an ounce less. It could be good or it could be bad. If it's half ounce less, it can mean there's less moisture or it can mean you're just getting less. So we're about to find out. Uh, let's see the ingredients. We got duck, duck broth, beef broth, uh, potato, dried whole egg, uh, beef, carrots, brown rice. All right, ingredients are definitely not blowing me away. Guaranteed analysis, uh, crude protein, 6.5. Look what the crude fat did, because it doesn't have all that animal in it. it went down to 2%, right? Crude fiber, 1%, moisture, 82%. All in all, I can only give you, at best, I can only give these this particular brand for the first five products. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a five. Uh, let's see how everything grades out with their price. All right, guys. So as I'm heading out, I see this um, refrigerator, basically. And I've had quite a few of you write to me, wanting me to give you my insight as to what I see. Again, I'm just going to uphold uh, anything I see here to the same standards that I was basically doing cans. So first thing we're coming up on is this uh, Ocean Whitefish and Salmon Recipe. Uh, brand is Vital, all right? It says it's grain free. And the price is, and the price is $12.99. So let's, let's see what's in the back of this package. All right, so we look at the guaranteed analysis and we're looking at crude protein 9%, crude fat 3.5%, Crude fiber 1% and moisture 78%. All right, so let's take a look at the ingredient list. So we got, we start out with ocean whitefish, followed by fish broth, then salmon, spinach, cranberries, blueberries, sweet potatoes. All right, but then look, we got carrageenan waving right at you. So here's the beef I got with this. Uh, you got white ocean fish. Is that halibut? Um, I don't know. What kind of fish is it? You don't know. Fish broth, you still don't know where, where the broth is coming from. Salmon, okay, that's specific. Spinach, cranberries, blueberries, sweet potatoes, that's specific. Pea protein, not good. And then you also have carrageenan. So if I had to grade this, let me see how much you get. It says you get two pounds worth of it. Let's see uh, what it scores uh, once, once we put it through the grinder. Guys, we've given you our best evaluation as far as canned dog food. Keep in mind, whether you're feeding barf, kibble, or canned food, there's always a drawback where the vitamins that are in there or the foods that are there are being processed. They lose a lot of the vitamin content that they have because they get denatured through the processing of it. So I say that to tell you this. Make sure that you're actually supplementing your dog with vitamins. We use this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the descriptions below. We use it because it's human food grade, because we've actually tried it on our dogs and we've actually seen results. I wanna let you know, this has been Raul from the Q, catching you on the next one.